This is the DSG DQ381 Mechatronic Unit from the Volkswagen and Audi Group. And today we're going to show you how to safely remove it and refit it from vehicles fitted with the 2 litre TSI or TDI block. Hi guys, Tim here from ECU Testing. As you may know, this unit is fitted to a whole host of vehicles on VAG's MQB platform, such as VW Golfs and Tiguans, Audi A3s and Skoda Superbs. And when an internal hardware failure occurs, you'll find a whole host of common faults, such as the vehicle being stuck in gear, failing to select odd or even gears, complete loss of all gears, the vehicle being forced into limp mode and many more. You'll also commonly find fault codes for P173500, position sensor for clutch one electrical malfunction, or P173600, position sensor for clutch two electrical malfunction. And you'll be left with the painful decision of how to get the vehicle back on the road without spending a fortune. Here at ECU Testing, we offer a complete test and rebuild solution for failing DQ381 units for a fraction of the price of a replacement. So click the link here to find out more. But now let me run you through the steps of how to remove it and more importantly, how to reinstall it once you receive your remanufactured unit back. Now, before we start, there are a few parts you will need to carry out this procedure. They are six liters of gear oil, an oil filling hose and adapter if required, and renewal parts. For the renewal parts, we recommend replacing all bolts and seals when reinstalling the unit back onto the gearbox. So before carrying out any of the steps in this video, make sure you have the correct replacements. You will also need the following tools. A 14mm and 8mm hex, a 0-25 and 0-100 torque wrench, M8 12-point socket, T30 torx bit, oil collector and a vehicle diagnostic tester such as VCDS. The main elements of the removal and refit procedure are the same, however pay special attention to the refitting procedure as carrying out the steps incorrectly could lead to a damaged mechatronic unit. Let's start with the removal procedure. Step 1. Prep the gearbox. Make sure the gear selector is in the P position and the parking brake button has been pulled up to activate the electromechanical parking brake. And then disconnect the negative side of the battery. This will prevent the mechatronic and gearbox from being damaged during removal and reinstallation. Step 2. Free up access to the mechatronic unit. Do this by first removing the noise insulation or engine splash shield under the vehicle. Depending on the type of vehicle you are carrying out this procedure on, you may need to remove the connecting hose between the air cooler and charge air pipe. Before starting the next step, it is recommended that you wear an anti-static wrist strap or touch an earthed object to become electrostatically discharged, as you are dealing with sensitive connectors. Once you've done this, then remove the connector. Remove the retaining clip that secures the rotary locking mechanism on the Mechatronics electrical connector. Finally, remove the electrical wiring and retainers from the oil pan and secure them out of the way. Step 3. Drain the transmission fluid. Start by removing the inspection plug at the bottom of the gearbox using the 15mm hex to start releasing the oil. Only a small amount will come out at this stage and that's because there's an overflow pipe fitted directly above it which we will need to remove to let more of the oil drain. This overflow pipe will be very important during the reinstallation process, so I'll quickly explain what it is and what it's doing. Basically, it acts as the level for the volume of oil in the gearbox, so it stops all the gearbox oil from being drained at once, and you can adjust it to set the specific level which is crucial to the health of the gearbox and mechatronic. To remove this, use an 8mm hex and unscrew it. Next, remove the second oil drain plug for the mechatronic unit which is located on its side. Allow all the oil to drain out of the plugs for a minimum of 4 minutes, and once it is drained, replace the mechatronic drain plug with the renewed seal and plug, tightening it for 10 newton meters followed by a 45 degree turn. The next thing to remove is the oil pan or sump. To remove this, undo the four securing bolts, making sure to remove them in a diagonal pattern and then carefully tip the pan away from the mechatronic for a controlled spill of the remaining transmission fluid. Step 4. Remove the mechatronic. Now all the oil has been drained and access to the unit has been freed up, you are finally ready to remove the actual mechatronic unit. Here you can see the bolts you will have to remove. 
When you remove them, remember to follow the diagonal pattern, and when removing the final bolts, support the unit with your hand, or ideally have someone else help to support it, so the Mechatronic can be carefully slid downwards and placed on its back with the sensors facing upwards. And that's it out. If you think you have a faulty DQ381, then you can now safely package the unit and send it in to us, and our expert technicians will complete a full inspection, test and rebuild service and send it right back. When you've got the remanufactured Mechatronic unit back, it's time to reinstall it to the gearbox. Step 1. Reinstalling the Mechatronic Now, as we said earlier, this process is just a reversal of the removal procedure. So, start by carefully lining up the Mechatronic unit with the gearbox and begin using the renewed bolts to fix the unit in place. Here, you will need to follow this three-stage tightening sequence as shown on screen now. Following this order, start by tightening each bolt by hand, then use a torque wrench set to 8 newton meters, and finally give each bolt a further 45 degree turn to finish. Step 2. Reinstall the oil pan or sump. Start by aligning the oil pan with the Mechatronic and tighten the renewed bolts in a diagonal pattern, following the same three-stage tightening process as before, but this time on the final stage, turn each bolt 60 degrees. Then install the securing clip and then refit the electrical wiring and retainers from the oil pan and then refit the Mechatronic electrical connector. Step 3. Refill the transmission oil. To start, refit the overflow pipe to the inspection plug by tightening it the whole way. The manufacturer's advice here is to then unscrew the pipe two full turns to properly set the level. Once you have done this, you need to fit the oil filling tool to the inspection plug and gear oil bottle using the adapter if required and start filling the transmission with oil. It should take around 6 litres to completely fill the transmission. Step 4. Check the transmission fluid level. Now that you have filled the transmission with oil, remove the filling tube and tighten the inspection plug before lowering the vehicle to the floor. Now it's time to turn the vehicle on, so reconnect the battery and with the vehicle switched on and whilst keeping your foot on the brake, cycle through all gear selector lever positions, P, R, N, D slash S, keeping each position engaged for around 3 seconds. Finish in the P position and leaving the vehicle switched on, plug your diagnostic tester into the vehicle and check the reading for transmission oil temperature. Let the temperature get to between 35 to 45 degrees Celsius before raising the car back up the ramp and remove the inspection plug, letting any excess oil flow out. And when the flow of oil stops, the correct level has been reached. Finally, retighten the overflow pipe to 1 newton meter and tighten the renewed inspection plug with renewed seal to 45 newton meters. Oh, and don't forget to reinstall the splash shield before you drive off. Step 5. Basic settings adaption procedure. Now this final step will differ depending on if you have just fit a brand new replacement mechatronic unit or a remanufactured unit. If you have a remanufactured unit from us here at ECU Testing, then you don't need to follow this relearn procedure, as when we rebuild units, we retain all prior settings and coding, so all you need to do is plug it back in and off you go. However, if you have a new replacement unit, then you will need to perform a basic setting adaption procedure using VCDS. The prerequisites to this procedure are to make sure the transmission fluid is above 15 degrees Celsius, the selector is in park, the engine is at idle, the parking brake and foot brake are applied during the procedure, and there are no fault codes present on the TCU or engine ECU. Next, perform the pre-charging sequence, which starts by moving the gear selector from park to drive, and then into Tiptronic or manual mode. Then run through all the gears, finally returning to park. Now it's time to start the procedure. In VCDS, select 02 Auto Trans, then the function Basic Settings. Next, in the drop down menu, select Basic Setting of Transmission. Click Go. You may hear loud shifting sounds from the transmission as this procedure is carried out, but once it is complete, look for an indication on Status of Basic Settings. And that's it. 
We hope you found this video helpful. If there's anything you would like to ask or a part you would like more information on, then let us know in the comments below and we will do our best to help you out. Don't forget, if you have a faulty DSG DQ381 automatic transmission, then we can help you out. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.